Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter 8 here. It's quite a wordy question. It's asking, um, determine the maximum force P the connection can support so that no slipping occurs between the plates. There are four bolts used for the connection and each is tightened so that it is subjected to a tension of four kilonewtons. The coefficient of static friction between the plates is 0.4. So um, what's going on here? Uh, first of all, I when I first read this question, I feel like I completely mis misunderstood it when it says four bolts here, assuming that uh, these shapes here are bolts. Those aren't bolts, those are nuts. And you'd think that for someone like me with a uh, master's in, in engineering would, would be able to know the difference between a nut and a bolt. Uh, turns out I don't. Um, but what, what, what maybe the diagram isn't showing, since it's kind of giving us a um, two-dimensional view here, is actually there's kind of a row of um, nuts and bolts be behind um, this one that's shown here. Um, so uh, the forces that are acting here, we've got this, this, this P idea here. Um, uh, and you've effectively got, um, acting on, on the plates here, you've got, um, if each bolt, if each, um, bolt is tightened and is, that, is, is, is giving four kilonewtons of tension, uh, we can say we've got two since, since we understand that there's, 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 um, four bolts here and, and this is only showing us the front two. Uh, so there's, there's kind of two lots of four kilonewton forces acting, um, here and here, I suppose, uh, two uh, four kilonewton forces. Uh, okay, um, that's not enough. What we can kind of do is we can kind of uh, isolate each of these plates. Uh, let me just pull up my notes here. So. Um, we, or, or, or we can take each of these plates in isolation. So let's look um, this this top plate here. We could diagrammatize that uh, like this. So uh, kind of a squiggly line uh, to show that it extends, and then straight line show it ends here. Um, we can say we've got this this p over two idea acting to the left. Uh, we can say um, uh, we can say we've got uh, four lots of, of um, four kilonewton forces acting down, and uh, we can say we've got a normal force um, coming from the plate beneath it, since this this is in contact uh, with with a plate here, right? Um, and since the 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 question is suggesting to us that um, there's friction here. Um, fr the frictional force would be counteracting the P over 2 force here. So let's just show that here. So uh, and let's call it F here so to, to, to represent friction. Um, our second plate, or our kind of plate in the middle here, we could show a free body diagram for that. That looks like so. Uh, and here we have two normal forces uh, acting against each other effectively. Uh, we've got force P acting this way and uh, we'll have a frictional force uh, counteracting P there. And uh, let's have a look at our um, bottom uh, plate here. We could show like this. This isn't to scale, and I'm bad at drawing. But we'd have we'd have a, a, a normal force acting here, and we've have ha, have our four lots of, of four kilonewton forces acting uh, acting here as well. Uh, this this p to the two I, I, idea acting this way, and uh, that that frictional well the friction force that is is acting. Um, kind of here, isn't it, to counteract that, that P over 2. Okay, so um, we could pick any one of these uh, of these free body diagrams and use it to solve. Um, I'm just going to pick the first one up here. Okay, so this one up here. Um, so 
since we're assuming here that the, the plates are in uh, equilibrium, we can say then that the forces in the x here are equal to zero. Um, so we can therefore say uh, that the things acting to the left are equal to the things acting to the right. Uh, P over two in this case is equal to F. Okay, uh, let's move on to uh, uh, resolving vertically. So we can say uh, in, in the y direction, uh, uh, the, the forces cancel each other out. So we can therefore say uh, the things acting up equal the th things acting down. Four, lots of four is equal to N. And uh, evidently that's solvable. We can say that N is equal to 16. So we have a 16 kilonewton normal force acting um, up here. Um, we can then introduce this, this, this idea. We could have introduced it earlier, but we're introducing it now of, of, uh, uh, of uh, static friction. So we understand that the frictional force, um, or at least static friction, can be taken as the uh, uh, static frictional coefficient multiplied by the normal force. And we've just calculated um, our normal force is 16. We are provided the coefficient of static friction in the question, it's 0.4. So we can say, therefore, F here is equal to 0.4 times 16, no, 6.4, uh, 6.4 kilonewtons. Um, so we can take this, this idea here that F is equal to 6.4, um, substitute it in here. So we can say uh, 6.4 is equal to P over two. Therefore, uh, P is equal to uh, 6.4 times 2, 12.8 uh, kilonewtons. And there we have it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them in, in, in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.